Really, it's the story of five characters coming together to form ultimately what is this family or group um, or team, whatever you want to call it, um, of super agents um, who each have a different skill set and so they complete each other the same way you, you would have in a sports movie or you would have in a family drama. It just so happens that they're spies. Grassi is played by Penelope Cruz and she is um, a Colombian um, psychologist who works for um, the Colombian Directorate of Intelligence, their CIA. Uh, but she's not someone who's a field agent at the beginning of the film. She's actually someone who is a psychologist who sits in an office back in Colombia and when agents come back from being in the field, she analyzes um, them and she, uh, she tries to help them through their post-traumatic stress and, and whatever else they have to deal with. And for the first time, she is forced because of circumstances to be out in the field herself and have to deal with the trauma that she's only really heard about. And it is traumatic for her initially, but over the span of the film, I think she starts to actually um, become more and more competent, maybe even get a little bit of a taste for it. Uh, and, and so I guess I would say she's the eyes and ears of the movie for us. The character uh, of Luis, played by Edgar Ramirez, um, is a Colombian field agent um, who has gone rogue. Uh, he, he's, he's someone who, at the beginning of the film, has taken this object, this really potentially deadly, massively deadly um, weapon, and um, he's willing to sell it to the highest bidder. Uh, he does have a conscience, he has more nuance and complexity to him, but he's just a, a guy who I think has um, a family back home and doesn't know, you know, from day to day if he's going to live or die and sees this, this, this opportunity um, to get out of this life and to, to you know, uh, provide for his family financially. The title 355 comes from, you know, one of the consultants on our movie um, who we can't even reference because she actually um, is herself living a, um, let's call it secret life. Um, but one of our consultants uh, knows everything about um, being a uh, field agent operative. And she told us about this term. It's a term that's used today still, often as a slang term for a female um, um, operative, field operative, special agent. And where it comes from is originally uh, during the American Revolution, um, George Washington used a or more than one female spy. And as opposed to the male spies whose names were, and like he himself, um, whose names were emblazoned on, you know, our money and, and Mount Rushmore and, and uh, the history books, the female agents were never known. They didn't want their names to be known um, because it wasn't something that was considered um, uh, ladylike or a world for women. And so they simply got the moniker of 355, uh, and, and that's where it comes from. She's just someone who, um, one, has great creative ideas, obviously, um, both as an actress and as a, as a storyteller, but also is um, as driven as the character she plays. Um, and uh, like her character, um, any boundary, any no, any challenge um, is not, um, something that uh, she takes as a no, it's something she takes as, um, you know, I guess, uh, like I say, a challenge. Um, and so having her on your side is an extraordinary thing because she's just uh, so strong and driven and um, focused and determined. And, it, and for me, as the director, um, that's the kind of producer you want.